In the Swiss countryside, the cowbell is a traditional sight and sound. At Roundup, as the cows start walking, their bells clang and wake up the sleeping cows, telling them it's time to move. At pasture, if a cow wanders off from the herd, its bell alerts the farmer. Swiss cowbells also play a ceremonial role. Farmers adorn their prized livestock with them. The larger and more ornate the bell, the greater the farmer's pride in the animal. Finer cowbells are made by artisans, like this one in Switzerland. He starts by laying a template on a sheet of steel that's two to three millimeters thick, depending on the type of bell. With a plasma cutter, he cuts two pieces. Each will form half the bell. While each piece is still flat, he engraves a design using a hammer and burins of various sizes. A burin is a handled blade with a beveled tip. Next, he heats a spot, then stamps his logo and the bell size, according to a Swiss numbering system. Next stop, a gas-fired furnace. The 1800 degree Fahrenheit heat softens the metal, which he then lays in a forging press. The press closes, shaping the piece into half a cowbell. He repeats this process with a second piece to make the other half. Then he refines the shape and thickness using a variety of hammers. Forging each flat sheet into a half bell made lines on the sides. He now welds and then grinds those seams flat. He hammers every centimeter of each bell half to refine and purify the sound. It's time to weld the two halves together. He tacks them in place, then welds the entire seam. Later, he'll grind the weld line flush with the bell's surface. Next, he welds a steel handle to the top of the bell. This will hold the leather strap from which the cowbell will hang. Beneath the handle, on the inside, he welds on a V-shaped rod to hold the battle, the swinging hammer that strikes the bell's inner walls. On each side, he pierces two holes for rivets, where the bell halves cross over each other. With a torch and a forging tool, he shapes each top rivet until it's nice and round. Then he hammers each bottom rivet flat to make them unnoticeable. Here, he melts a brass bullet casing riveted area. That white powder is borax, a mineral that helps the soldering process. Adding this little bit of brass solidifies the fold and improves the bell's sound quality. The cowbell's construction is now complete. However, all that forging and welding has left dark spots on the steel. So the bell now goes for a 15-hour bath in hydrochloric acid. This cleaning makes the bell even toned and shiny. A thorough washing removes the acid residue. Then it's into a basin of sawdust to dry. Sawdust absorbs water faster than cloths do. The engraved decorations don't show up well on the shiny surface so the artisan brushes acid on strategic spots to oxidize the steel and create the illusion of relief. It takes tremendous skill to milk a beautiful cowbell out of an ordinary sheet of steel. But there's still the decorative leather strap, which is the job of a saddle maker. Some bells are simple. Others elaborately decorated with baked on enamel colors. Either way, a fine handcrafted cowbell will last for generations. <laughs>